There's a strange dent in Earth's magnetic field, and it's causing serious problems for satellites and spacecraft. This weak spot, called the South Atlantic Anomaly, or SAA, has long been a point of intrigue and concern for scientists, particularly those at NASA. This phenomenon, a massive region of weak magnetic intensity, stretches from South America to Southwest Africa. It is not only an anomaly in the Earth's magnetic field, but also a potential source of risk for satellite and spacecraft technology. The South Atlantic anomaly has drawn the attention of researchers who seek to understand its origins, its effects, and its potential implications for the future of Earth's magnetic field and the technology that relies on it. So what's the role of Earth's magnetic field and what the SAA could mean for the future? To understand the significance of the South Atlantic anomaly, we first need to appreciate Earth's magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field is an invisible shield that surrounds our planet, generated by the movement of molten iron within the outer core. This churning motion creates electric currents, which produce the magnetic field. The field has two primary poles, north and south, and stretches far into space. It is vital for the protection of life on Earth as it shields the planet from harmful solar radiation and the solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the sun. Without this magnetic shield, solar wind would strip away the atmosphere, making Earth much less hospitable for life. Moreover, Earth's magnetic field is crucial for navigation, not only for human technology like compasses and GPS systems, but also for animals. Many species, including birds and sea turtles, rely on Earth's magnetic field for navigation, using it as a natural GPS system to guide their long migrations. I've got a whole video diving into how they sense and use Earth's magnetic field. It's truly mind-blowing. Go check it out if you're interested. Additionally, Earth's magnetic field plays an essential role in technology, including the operation of satellites and spacecraft. It is this very field, and the anomalies within it, that NASA has been monitoring closely especially in relation to the South Atlantic Anomaly. The weakening of the magnetic field in the South Atlantic Anomaly allows high-energy charged particles, such as protons from the sun, to penetrate deeper into space. When these particles strike spacecraft, they can cause technological systems to malfunction short-circuit or even suffer permanent damage. In some cases, these charged particles cause glitches or data loss. For example, in 1998, the Hubble Space Telescope encountered problems while passing through the SAA, experiencing a temporary data loss due to the increased radiation. Similarly, the GOES-13 weather satellite had to shut down its instruments when it passed through the anomaly to avoid damage from radiation, which means satellite operators must take precautions. To mitigate this, spacecraft systems are often powered down before they enter the anomaly zone, protecting valuable equipment from damage. The South Atlantic Anomaly is not a random occurrence. It is the result of complex geophysical processes deep within the Earth. We have covered before that Earth's magnetic field is generated by the movement of molten iron in the planet's outer core. However, this magnetic field is not uniform, as its formation is disturbed by various factors, one of the most significant being the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province. This region, located about 2,900 kilometers beneath Africa, contains dense rock formations that disrupt the flow of molten metal in the outer core, weakening the magnetic field above it. This disturbance, combined with the tilt of Earth's magnetic axis, results in the dramatic weakening of the magnetic field in the South Atlantic region, giving rise to the South Atlantic anomaly. This phenomenon is part of a broader, more complex system of magnetic fields that are not entirely understood. Researchers from NASA, including geophysicists like Terry Sabaka and Weijia Kuang, have studied the anomaly and its underlying causes, noting the impact of reversed polarity localized fields within the SAA that contribute to its weakened intensity. Over the years, scientists have discovered that the South Atlantic anomaly is not a static phenomenon. In fact, it is slowly moving and even dividing into two distinct regions of weakened magnetic intensity. This was first noted in a study led by NASA heliophysicist Ashley Greeley in 2016, and subsequent research using CubeSats confirmed this slow drift. More recent observations, including a study published in 2020, 
revealed that the SAA appears to be splitting into two separate cells, each representing a separate center of magnetic weakness. What's driving this transformation? That's still a mystery. But what we do know is this. Earth's magnetic field is not static. It has a long history of flipping, yes, flipping, its poles. Absolutely. Earth's magnetic field has reversed hundreds of times in its four and a half billion year history. North becomes south and south becomes north. It's like your compass suddenly getting a mind of its own. This isn't something that happens overnight. It unfolds over thousands of years. But it's a real phenomenon, and some scientists wonder, could the South Atlantic anomaly be a hint that another reversal is on the horizon? We don't have a definite answer yet, but here's what we do know. Since we began measuring it, Earth's magnetic field has weakened by about 9% over the past 170 years. That might not sound like a lot, but on a planetary scale, it's a big deal. A weakening field means more vulnerability to solar storms, more glitches in space tech, and yes, more growth in anomalies like the SAA. If this trend continues, and it's looking like it might, we could be heading toward a future where Earth's magnetic shield becomes a little patchier, a little less predictable, and a lot more important to watch. Interestingly, the South Atlantic anomaly is not a recent development. A study published in 2020 suggested that this magnetic anomaly may have been recurring for as long as 11 million years. This finding challenges the idea that the SAA is a recent or temporary phenomenon. Instead, it appears to be part of a much larger, recurring cycle of magnetic fluctuations within Earth's core. This raises the possibility that the South Atlantic anomaly is not a precursor to a full reversal of Earth's magnetic poles. Instead, the SAA could be an ongoing feature of Earth's magnetic field, representing a localized weakening of the field that is not linked to global pole reversals. While the SAA poses risks to technology in space, it is not believed to have significant effects on life on Earth. The Earth's surface remains largely unaffected by the anomaly, as the weakened magnetic field does not extend deeply enough to affect human populations or the environment. However, the SAA does have an impact on Earth's auroras. A recent study published in 2024 found that the phenomenon has an influence on the auroras visible in the polar regions, although the full extent of this impact is still being studied. Additionally, changes in Earth's magnetic field, such as those observed with the SAA, could provide valuable insights into the workings of Earth's core. Scientists hope that by monitoring the SAA and its evolution, they can gain a better understanding of the geophysical processes occurring deep within the planet, which could in turn help refine predictive models of future magnetic fluctuations. Understanding the South Atlantic anomaly not only helps protect space technology, but also provides a window into the complex processes occurring deep within Earth's core. As researchers continue to study this anomaly, we may gain new insights into the dynamics of Earth's magnetic field, its potential for future change, and the broader implications for our planet's past, present, and future. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mind-blowing stories from our incredible planet and beyond.